What's going on YouTube? In my last video I covered uh, the color channel and the diffusion channel for Cinema 4D. In this video I want to cover luminance channel, different uses of this channel, and uh, just give you some kind of idea what you can do with it. And then obviously the possibilities are endless. There's a lot of things you can do and uh, you know combinations of luminance, alphas, bumps, you know, and so on. So let me just get started. So let me just create a material. I already have one here, but I'll just start from scratch. Okay guys, so the luminous channel is this third one right here. And what it does is uh, pretty much, you know, emits light from the object. So as you can see here, I have this material applied to the sphere. And uh, if you hit render, the light from the sphere will uh, fill up the scene, like fill up the uh, light around the uh, object. But the one key thing about the luminance channel, and uh, when I first started, it was a big mistake that I made. If uh, if you go up to your render settings here in Cinema 4D, and uh, you don't have, let me just delete this because I already have it, and uh, it's gonna look like something like this, you know, standard, you know, save multi uh, multi pass will be checked, nothing else. If you don't have global illumination, which is this one right here, activated and you hit the render button, nothing will happen, nothing will show up uh, with the uh, luminous channel activated. So let me just show you. If I hit render right now, as you can see, you can see the sphere uh, and the material that I applied to it. And on the bottom, you're not going to see this reflection because uh, let me just show you what I did. For the floor, I just have a simple color, which is uh, dark gray right here. And in the reflectance channel, I have uh, two layers, just a basic specular and uh, a Beckman reflectance channel uh, that I applied on top, and I set it to additive. And also in the bump, I uh, did a custom bump right here, it's just a simple Cinema 4D bump, and that's about it. So for the floor, that's what I have for the floor, and for the luminous channel, I just have uh, color white applied to it, as you can see. So let me show you what happens if you don't turn on uh, the global illumination. I'm going to disable it now. I'm going to hit render. As you can see, you can see the uh, the sphere, but the light from the sphere is not emitting around it. So the only way to uh, get the global illumination uh, activated and uh, get the light going is to activate it in the render settings, as you can see here. And now everything's going to be working the way you want it to. And uh, it looks mu much nicer as well. Also, the way to control uh, the luminous channel and uh, how strong it is, obviously you can bump up the brightness. So let's, let's try like uh, 400 and we'll just see what it's going to look like. As you can see, it gets way brighter. So that's uh, one way to uh, manage uh, the brightness on the luminous channel. So let me just put this to 100. Uh, another way you can do is uh, if you go to Illumination Channel all the way in the bottom here. And uh, where it says Generate uh, GL, which is Global Illumination, you can just bump up uh, the strength maybe to like 500 just to exaggerate the example. And we'll just hit Render. So as you can see, it got a little bit brighter around it. So uh, in, the, in the first scenario that I showed you, if you bump it up just in the brightness, it's going to do uh, the brightness overall is going to be kind of too strong. But if you uh, go to the illumination and you control it here, all it's going to do is uh, emit more light uh, around the object, but it's going to be more realistic than bumping it up in the brightness channel or uh, the bright brightness settings here. And uh, as any other channel, uh, you can obviously change the color you know, to any color you want. If you want to emit, you know, blue color and so on, it's uh, you can also do it here, and also you can use any of the other effects they have uh, available in Cinema 4D. So I have a few other scenes set up to show you different uses for uh, the luminous channel. So in this case, I showed you the sphere, uh, just with the uh, material applied to the sphere, and then uh, global illumination turned on. Let me go to my next example here. So in this one. As you can see, I have a sky object around it. That's another uh, way to use uh, the luminous channel is to, uh, let me just show you, let me go inside the material. So you activate the luminous channel, and then instead of using the color as your uh, 
uh, a mess of material, you can uh, load up a texture. So in this case, I have this HDRI image loaded up. And uh, what you can do with it is uh, create a sky object. I already have it, so let me just delete it. Go into here, create a sky object, and uh, apply this material, the sky, onto uh, the sky object. What's going to happen is, not only you have the sphere that's emitting light, you also have the sky that's emitting uh, light and filling up your scene. So now if you have your global illumination turned on, like I showed you before, if you hit render and give it a few seconds, you can see the whole scene is uh, filled up with light. So not only, you know, uh, the sphere is uh, acting as a light source, you have the sky object acting as a light, light source also. Uh, let me go to my next scene, show you another uh, different example, different scenario. So in this one, I have uh, the sphere with this uh, blue material um, applied to it. And I have the same plane uh, with the gray material that looks like uh, reflective material, a little bit of bump applied to the ground. Uh, so let me just show you what it looks like. And what I did for this one is uh, instead of using the image, I used uh, a layer mask. So it looks like... Uh, uh, almost like Earth in a way. So let me just go inside the material and show you. So everything's disabled, just the, the noise channel is activated. For the color, I have this uh, light blue. And inside the layer channel, I have uh, this noise that's uh, set up. And uh, the way to uh, think about this is whatever is white is going to show up in your render, and whatever is black is going to be hidden. So as you can see, uh, around the blue, we have these white uh, patches. And uh, this is the noise that I apply on top. And uh, another thing to remember, if you go on the bottom here where it says mix mode, if it's set to normal, you're going to see this, and it's not going to work. So the way to uh, have it the, the, way, the way I showed you before is you just put it to additive, and it's going to work just uh, as you planned. And so I have this layer node with noise uh, set to the additive, and it's a blue color, and uh, this is the result you get. Okay, another way you can do, uh, you can use the luminous channel is I have this other material and uh, this is using the alpha channel. So let me just go inside and show you. So I have the luminous channel is set to red, no texture, nothing here, it's all empty. And if you go to the alpha channel, I have uh, tiles as my alpha channel. So if you go inside, as you can see, it's uh, set to hexagons. And uh, all it is, is pretty much is acting as a mask. So you have uh, the white hexagons is going to be showing up in the render and everything that's black is going to be hidden. And that's pretty much it. So let me just uh, give it a render and show you what it looks like. So as you can see guys, this is a combination of luminous channel with the alpha channel. This is just another thing you can do and, uh, you know, get creative. And uh, in this last example that I have, this is uh, another way to use the luminous channel, and uh, instead of using lights, Cinema 4D lights that come with Cinema 4D, you know, you have the light, uh, sunlight, spotlight, area light, and so on. Instead of using those lights, you can actually use uh, planes as your light sources. So what you do is create a plane, you know, go into here, create a plane. But I already have two set up here, so I'll just delete this one. And uh, I just have two emissive uh, luminance material. So I have this bright green and I have uh, this yellow or orange material uh, set to 100%. So I just, all I did is I rotated uh, the planes to, uh, to be facing uh, the sphere, which doesn't have uh, any effects on it, just this standard material from 740. And same thing I did for the green one. And uh, don't forget to turn on your global illumination so you can see it. So now if I hit render, you will see what happens. So these two planes right now are acting as a light source. So if I turn these off and hit, hit render, you will see it's going to be a black screen. Nothing will happen. But as soon as I turn it on, it's going to be acting as a light source instead of using actual lights. And I think it's uh, acting uh, or it's rendering faster than uh, lights with shadows. And uh, see, you can see, as you can see, it's uh, act, uh, casting shadows as well. So uh, don't forget to turn on your global illumination because if you turn it off and give it a render, this is what you're going to see. It's not going to be emitting any light.
So hopefully guys, this uh, tutorial helped you and gave you some uh, different ideas what you can do with the Luminous channel. So uh, don't forget, you can use a texture, you can use it as a sky object, you can use it as a light source, you can uh, plug in an alpha, use it like that. You can use masks inside uh, the Luminous channel to block the light from different ways so it doesn't emit all around it. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And uh, if you want to check out my other video where I cover the color channel and diffusion channel, I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, guys, if you, uh, this video helped you, leave, leave a little.